So we're going to start on the pan hard rods. Got the battery sitting there. Got 100 kilos sitting on the driver's seat. I weigh about 95, but there's still a couple of other things to go in there. Um, and then 60 on the back for a fuel, full fuel tank, full radiator, um, and the roll cage. Now I've just got a little come along pulling on the chassis to keep it all centered to the diff. Um, this is the bracket I've come up with. Down in there. So it just wraps around the spring. It sits in there and sits above the steering arm. And then that one will sit on top in there. It'll all be pretty close, but I'm just going to make a bracket this end to join it up to the chassis. That'll be the front one done. Um, I'll dress them up a little bit and make them look a bit nicer, but that'll be the pan hard rod in. And then in the rear end, I've got a still start but it's sitting in the center already so the rear one should be a lot easier than the front i don't have anything in the way um i don't have to worry about steering or any of that sort of shit so it's coming along front one's all tacked together now both ends had to pinch the bolts so that i can start using in the rear That one tucked in, I'll brace it up a little bit and that one cut out, I've just got to do a little chassis plate and weld it all on, that'll be the rear one done and got the SJ80 front end on it now, I've cut the inner guards out so I can start the guard chop, um, body lines don't really match up for the bonnet and the scuttle panel. Um, but I do have that section off an SJ80 that I'll probably graft in um, if it ends up working how I want it to work. So with a SJ70 or earlier front clip, um, from the bonnet to the edge of the guard is around 65, 70 millimeters. Um, on these it's only 30. So I can't, pinch it anywhere near as much as I could with the other front end I've got um, and with all of these body lines running through the front end I, I'm pretty limited with where I can actually cut that 30 mil out from um, if I cut it in the middle puts the body line out for the bonnet I don't really have any room between here and here to cut it out but I think I'll be able to cut it out of in here from out behind the grill skinny it up that way um, not 100% sure it'll work but I'll give it a go I've just shaved out the grill so that the winch can sit in there um, looks a little bit nicer than the other one um, a lot of winch was sticking out but front bar finishes with the end of the front clip so it actually suits this front clip a lot better than it did the clip I made it for um, so I'd like to make it work it's all sort of half done so I'll try and finish it and it'll be the first one to my knowledge that'll have it done um, I have to do something with the bonnet hinges to actually get the bonnet to close properly just that little bit too long um, yeah I'll keep it updated I'll do the do the pinch see if it'll work if it doesn't then I'll throw it all in the bin and finish off the other one um, it's about the same amount of work to finish the other one as it is to do this one. So, alright, I'll get to cutting. Started with the pinch. 
the 25 mil cut out of this side the grill separated 25 mil cut out of the grill it's pretty subtle but should help a lot with tire clearance so let's use this little plastic stapler to join that side of the grill back on I'll have to do the same to the chrome to put back over it but it's pretty pretty cheap tool and I use it a fair bit for this sort of stuff so keep on going so the pinch on one of these SJ80 front ends isn't really as simple as all the other ones um, you have to actually cut out of this section um, the bonnet has a body line that follows the shape of the front clip um, so if I pull it out of here it would move this corner I guess you'd call it in 25 mil and the body line would be out for the bonnet um, so it just look a bit weird so where this comes down needs to match up um, but because of the headlight makes it extremely hard to cut 25 mil out of that section um, I could have brought it out of here and got rid of the Parker and indicator lights but I wanted to keep them there and make it all look like it was meant to be um, so I do have to cut just on the inside of the body mount and just on the inside of the headlight and then the grill um, is pretty tricky as well um, so it there are two piece grill so out of the back side I needed to take a little tab here so out of the back side of the grill I needed to take it out of this section like that and then out of the chrome bit just for looks so it didn't look out of place um, I had to keep that section and take it out of here so the, the headlight opening is actually smaller um, so when you sit it over it covers up that join there I've obviously got a join here but it doesn't doesn't cover up the headlight it's just this sort of taper isn't as visible on this side um, it was the only way I could sort of make it all look right because yeah like I said if I took it out of anywhere else it would have thrown body lines out um, you do need to cut a little bit out of here to allow it to angle in um, a slit out of here to do the same thing to open it up all down there stays untouched just tack it all back together and I'll do the same on this side now center it all up and make sure it looks good with the bonnet So that's in two pieces now. You can never really get a super clean cut on stuff like this, but it's not too bad, I don't think. So it'll go back together with a little bit of a tweak. Um, I will have to trim this lip off the bottom. It doesn't quite fit the front bar I've made for the car, so it'll have to go the whole way around but just to to get it on I'll trim it off for the moment I'll trim down in that corner and um, make my cutout in here get it all tacked in and send it up make sure it looks good with the bonnet weld it up put a bit of primer on it um, 
finish up the grill and that'll be that'll be it. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape pinching one of these front ends is once you make all of your cuts they turn into a flimsy mess um, it's a job that needs about six hands if you have more than one person there's too much going on you can't can't sort of do what you need to do um, so I just prefer to I'll tack this piece here get it lined up prop the bottom up get that bottom one there lined up they're the two that you see the most um, and then I'll center it all up again and then put a couple of tacks in here and that's obviously the trickiest part with the welding um, takes a bit of time but you can do it um, so I've had to just trim out this bottom piece because of the front bar that I've made obviously I made it to a different front clip these are slightly different um, so I'm just gonna have to slowly knock bits out of it until it sits where I want to sit it um, the bonnet might have to get tweaked a little bit a big problem with pinching a front end is it actually shrinks the length of the front clip um, so you have a pretty hard time getting the bonnets to close properly after you do it um, the more you cut out the worse it is this one I haven't welded up yet obviously but it's pretty bad um, and it's still that's still got to come in but it's hard up on the bonnet so I'll worry about that after I get all of this welded together got it all tacked up just put one there to pivot off there to pivot off and one in there to stop the headlight moving around too much um, so I don't know if the bonnet will shut but I'll just shut it to center it all up so it's shut but it's it's pushed this out here now uh, I don't know if you can really see it on the camera but all I do is just make sure that, that strike is in the center if it is I'm happy enough to call that center. Um, the bonnet can't really be out when it's bolted on. So I'll just zap the front of that up, zap the front of that up. Probably put a, another tack in there so it doesn't all move and then get on the grill and start tackling it. I might have to shave a little bit more out for the winch to fit in properly, but I won't know until I get it in there. Um, and then I'll duck up the street and get some bolts. Um, the front clip didn't come with any headlight hardware. It's got one bolt in it. Um, 
so I'm just going to pinch all of the ones out of my old front clip and just use the springs off them with new bolts and put any seize in them so that it doesn't get stuck. The ones in the other front clip are definitely going to snap when I go to undo them, so this is just the safe way. Um, so I'll get the headlights in, make sure that there's no clearance issues with them, put the grill back in and um, start bolting everything back on um, so that it can sit on the car trailer out in a mate's house for a little while so hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be done by the end of the year i would like to drive it this summer but if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen i'd rather do it do it right um, and be happy with it this time around I, obviously i wasn't happy with it the first time i built it hence this mess um, so i think i've done everything right so as long as it drives well and it feels balanced like it did before with the leaf springs but has all the all the clearance that i've built into the car then i'll be happy as um so i'd obviously like to do a lot more content of actually driving the car than putting it together but just be patient After I got that side tacked together, um, I shut the bonnet and had a look at it and this side was a little bit out. Um, this side actually looked better than the other side. So I decided to cut it back apart. I've now got a huge gap that I've got to fill again. Um, but I've got it the same as that side now and managed to roll the top section just enough to not have to slam the bonnet so it still just touches in there but it should be a lot easier to get that right than it was before but now i've got a a uniform gap either side um yeah, this side was sunk in about sort of five mil than the other side. Um, managed to lift up the bottom. It was down on that side as well. So now it's all all right. It's the same everywhere. I've got the same amount of guard out the bonnet each side. So I'll, um, I'll tackle the grill now and finish welding her up. So the black section, I've cut it out on this side. Um, so, that much. Um, I used the grill on the other side just to keep it all straight and it worked pretty well so just sit it in the grill and sit it together like that. Um, got a little tool called a plastic stapler. They're relatively inexpensive. I think it was about 25 bucks on eBay so come with a heap of the, the staples they call them. Um, yeah they work pretty good. They just melt in. Um, I'll fill the rest up with you know, glue and JB weld, that sort of stuff and just put a light skim of bog on the front of it to smooth it all out for paint. Um, you won't see that black bit once it's all done, only the, the cut in the chrome, um, which should be easy to patch up. I'm just going to paint the chrome, I'm not going to 
want it shiny. So I'll um I'll glue that together now. That side's stapled together now. As you can see, it's pretty strong. I ended up putting oh, seven of those staples in, um, and then you just trim the trim the legs off. Um, but it does a does a pretty good job. It obviously doesn't fill in the gaps, but it um, definitely does a good job holding it together. The chrome on these. Um, has actually been put on. It's not a not a paint or anything. Like the the plastic's actually been chromed, so the the staples don't work through the chrome. You have to grind it off, um, which is a bit of a pain. So when I when I cut the, this out, I'll um, just you know, nick the chrome a bit, and then I'll sit this onto the black part, which is now the right shape and I'll staple this bit together and the grill will be done apart from tidying it up for paint. So I'll get into that. All right, so that's grill done. Um, the chrome wants to fall off, obviously, because it's not taped on. Um, still got to get the headlights and the park lights and indicators in it. I'm not too fussed about it at the moment. Um, but that's the, the front end pinched. It needs to be finished welding and ground back nicely. I've got to finish the bonnet. It's got some ugly looking bog on it, um, patch up this snorkel hole that it's got, I'll probably blank those indicator holes off as well, the flares will come up to there if I end up running them, I'm not 100% sure if I want to put flares on it this time around or if I'll just have a, a bolt on piece of rubber for comps um, and just keep it as skinny as possible for sh social wheeling. Um, I don't know what kind of bar work I'll run yet. It will have a, a roll cage. I'm in the process of working out what I need for a roll cage. If I only need a four point because it's a, a ute, um, but it's a soft top and soft tops usually want six points. So there's a bit of confusion there. So I'll try and get it sorted out. Um, but I've got a heap of body work to do, a heap of bar work to do. Not too sure what I'll do with the dash. Um, I've got to do the the shocks to finish off the suspension. Um, once the shocks are done, I'll strip the car back down to a bare chassis and weld all the brackets properly, flip the chassis over, clean all the paint off, respray the chassis, all the brackets. Um, I'll shave the rear diff and brace it while it's all apart and then just build the car from the diffs up. So I'll put it all back together for the last time, put the diffs in with a fresh coat of paint, the links in, everything with fresh coat of paint. Um, then once all that's done, I'll bolt the motor in the box, transfer case, all back in, um, 
do the drive shaft for the rear because it's 200 mil longer now. Um, once I do all of that and have it all nice and painted, I'll get around to putting the cab back on and sanding, paint stripping, not 100% sure what I'll do to get the Raptor liner off yet. I might even just try and smooth it out to paint it. The way I'll drive the car, it'll probably get re-sprayed every 12 months anyway, so. Um, so that's an option. I need to sand the whole car, get it prepped for paint, paint it, and that'll, that'll finish up all of the bodywork, paint, welding, and then I just need to wire up this motor winch, plumb the radiator, get fluids in it, and finally get this thing driving. It's been about 10 months now since I've pulled it off the road and pulled it apart. So it's, it's been a while. I probably won't even remember how to drive it when I do get on the road. Um, but there's still a, a lot of work to do. A lot of the big jobs are done now, but it'll all slow down a bit now. I'll try and keep everyone updated with little bits and pieces as I'm going on, on Instagram, but I probably won't do a, another video on this for a while until I get it in a shed that I can work on it in. Um, I'll do a little bit on the carry over the next couple of weeks. I've got a heap of parts coming for it. New door seals, window seals, um, brakes. Uh, I've got to pull all the LPG out for Rego. Um, the tank's out of date and I don't want it in there anyway so I'm going to pull all that out, put new door seals in. I'll register it as it is, probably with some new tyres, but and then it'll get a respray a little bit later on down the track and re-trim the front seats because they're a bit split and nasty, as you'd expect from a 40-year-old car, but it'll be a fun little project. The ute will get put on the back burner for a little while, but I'll hopefully keep myself busy so I don't go insane, but I'll... um do what I can with what I got. So, thanks for watching. I'll um, try my best to get it sorted.